Here are all the components that I use to build my Stratix. Uh, this is a mount. Put some suction cups to mount the actual box to a window of the aircraft. This is a 16 gigabyte SD card. I'll load the SD card on my own computer just because it's a little bit cheaper than getting the preloaded card, eight bucks versus 14. This is the external Stratix GPS sensor. Here's the uh, power bank. Here's the motherboard, Raspberry Pi 3. This is my altitude heading reference sensor, or AHRS. This is the case for the Stratix. It has a fan built in. It's custom built to fit the board and all the other components. This is your dual band ADS-B uh, high gain antennas. Altogether, the components cost uh, about 165 bucks total off of Amazon. If you're interested in any one or all these, uh, you can click and order them on the links on the bottom of this uh, video. And we have the battery pack charging up. Two antenna cables here, two antennas, two antenna connectors, the Raspberry Pi motherboard, the AHRS, which is about the size of a dime, the, the box, um, and then the other half of the box with the fan and the fan connector cable. Some tooling to tighten uh, the screws and the cables. And our GPS, our mount, which we've attached the suction cups to. You just push them in and pull them over. And then our SD card, which we have right now writing Stratix to. Once you've downloaded the latest version of Stratix to, to your computer from the Stratix website, open up Etcher and select that file. Plug your SD card into your computer. Click the button on the right to flash the software from your computer onto the SD card. Board installation is relatively simple. We have four USB ports and we have three USB devices. 978 dual band ADS-B chip is labeled and should always go on the bottom of the middle. So we'll plug that one in. The 1098 chip, which isn't labeled out of the box, should go on the bottom right. Plug that one in. GPS should go above the 978 chip. Next, we'll put our heat sinks on. 3M tape on the bottom, you can see. So you just peel back the adhesive. This gives you altitude and heading reference. And this guy will go in this end of the board. Push straight down and it'll pop on, so. Inside the SD card slot. So this is my 978 antenna. You're gonna have to make sure that the antenna and its corresponding wire plug into the corresponding chipset on the motherboard. Each cable has three pieces that screw off. There's a nut, there's a spring washer in the middle, and then there's a, a secondary washer below it. You need to make sure that all three of these are removed and then installed in the same order. So these three pieces will be outside of the box when I reinstall them. So we'll take all three off and then install into the board. Coming through and then installing the same way. I'll take the other wrench to keep this clockwise. Now this is nice and tight. So this is again my 1090 side. So I have my 1090. So when you're connecting the fan to the fan controller, there's a small demarcation here for positive and negative terminals. So positive here is for red. I'll line the fan controller so that the red aligns with the positive terminal. Come plug directly into here. Underneath there, you should hear the same click when you install it. GPS plugged in, we have our two uh, ADS-B receivers plugged in, heat sinks on, fan controller on, and also our SD card in. So I've kind of pinned everything down, you can see it all fits, and just have to get all the wires out of the back appropriately, and make sure that you're not crunching anything. And if you look at that, I could push down with my hand and get good alignment. Uh, 
it's just time to drop the screws in. A couple more. Here's one. Here's another right here. Ready to power on. And assemble Stratix, ready to roll. And then plug it in. The Stratix working. Download the latest Danger Zone patch onto your computer. Connect to your Stratix box using the IP address shown on this frame. And then select the file in the Stratix update box, which is on the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Wait for about a minute and then your system should be updated. You may need to refresh your screen or turn your box on and off. The AHARD should work with the Danger Zone patch applied. Thanks for watching and if you consider this video helpful, please subscribe.